Fitting decorative cladding is easy. With its tongue and groove system, each panel simply slots into the last one fitted. Depending on what surface you are fitting to, you can silicone, glue, staple, screw or nail your cladding. Don't want to take your old tiles off? No problem. Simply apply silicone in a zigzag fashion the whole length of the panel and press into place. Make sure the surfaces are relatively flat. Batten the wall if necessary at 60 cm centers perpendicular to the panels. If using coving, fit this first, ready to slide the first panel into. Measure the length required for the first panel and cut. If using internal corner trim, slot this onto your first panel and secure it into place using the opposite side of the corner trim with your chosen fixing type. Be sure to use a spirit level to make sure the first panel is plumb. Using staples, screws or nails, secure the protruding lip of the panel to the wall at 60 cm intervals. Once cut to size, the next panel will slide into place, hiding the fixings. Continue to the end of the wall, cutting the width of the last panel to suit the remaining wall space and allowing for the corner trim. Using the open edge of the corner trim, fix to the wall before inserting the first panel of the new wall. Again, remember to use a spirit level for each first panel of each wall. It really is that easy. Sockets and switches can be cut out with a knife. A combination square and pencil are ideal for this. Keep in mind when replacing sockets and switches that you may need to purchase longer screws and don't over tighten. For external corners, you can use the external corner trim. These are also ideal for window reveals. Finally, where cladding is butting to a bath or shower, be sure to use our patented Sealux trim for a watertight seal that allows for any movement or stretch. For any further installation support, contact the team at Decor Cladding Direct who will be happy to help.